Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, coming to you from right next to a wooden recreation mounted on a wooden building shed, if you will, of Pluto, the fantastic Walt Disney Productions animated classic, Pluto. Happy Hump Day, everyone. Today is Wednesday. And as a lot of people commonly refer to that day as hump day, they will be at work, they look forward to the weekends, and a lot of people on hump days also not only look forward to the weekend, but they also look forward to vacation time in the future. And what is a top tourist destination for a lot of people? Disneyland in California, and then the second incarnation of Walt's dream in Florida, Walt Disney World. I am closer to the Florida theme parks than I am to California at the moment. I'm in a little place called Tyrone, Georgia, and I'm actually not on Walt Disney property at all, even though there's Pluto and there's a humongous Coca-Cola bottle, which is very interesting because Coca-Cola is the only soda pop beverage that they actually serve on any Disney property, theme park-wise, Disneyland and in Florida at Walt Disney World. So it's very interesting that we're kind of vicariously channeling Walt Disney theme park goodness here in Tyrone, Georgia. But why have I stopped off the side of the road in this little teeny tiny town? There's something majestic that is actually right beside me, right there. It's kind of, kind of blows my mind a little bit. The fact that this actually exists and then I'm going to show this to you right now. Let's, did I do the intro? It's my second channel, Daily Blog Channel. It's the Daily Woo. Well, forget about that. All that is unimportant. What is important is the fact that Pluto, there, and me are standing next to and staring at right now with you. I'm talking about one of the original monorails from Magic Kingdom. 1971. Oh my goodness. Just look at that thing. I'm seriously overwhelmed right now with nostalgia. October 1st, 1971. Magic Kingdom, Walt Disney World opened. This is one of the original monorails. There were two monorail lines. Now there are three. They added one in 1982 when Epcot Center opened. But originally there was only two monorail lines. This is the Mark IV monorail system front carriage front cart absolutely incredible this is vintage Disney history and nostalgia right in front of our faces of course if you've ever been to Disneyland and to Disney World Disneyland monorail is a little smaller portion it doesn't channel as many people back from theme park to theme park, it's used. It's more of a ride, if you will. When you ride on the two to compare, you'll see the difference. The Disney World ones are definitely a lot bigger, made to haul more people, and the construction of them are a little bit different. So when you look at this, if you're used to Disneyland, you would notice considerable differences in size and the structure of this compared to the Disneyland monorail. WDW. Oh, yes. It's on a flatbed trailer now. Not really sure what they're planning on doing with this, if they're going to transport it. I know a few years ago it was actually for sale on eBay, but it's still sitting here. I didn't think it was actually going to be here, but it is here. And you can actually see underneath there. Normally, when you're at Walt Disney World, there is a pathway that goes right underneath there, a concrete pathway that leads from theme park to theme park from Epcot, does that Epcot loop around Spaceship Earth, 
goes back to the transportation ticket center, and then from there, through the resorts, you can go through the contemporary, you can go into Magic Kingdom and get off there at the port where they have everyone dump off of the monorail, walk down that little walkway, and then you turn left to go through security, and then enter the magical place of Walt Disney World. Think of how many happy people, happy tourists, happy Walt Disney fans utilize this. This is serious history right here. I can't even joke around about this. This blows my mind. Look at the lights right there. Absolutely incredible. Look at that, there's a couple open windows up there. I'm actually gonna climb up here. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be up here on the ledge, but I had to look inside of here. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at this, the carpet is still there. The little light up there, the beacon light. Look at this. You can actually still see the little buttons up there. That one says master, and directly above where it says master, it says something else. I can't make out what that says. Here's a little behind the scenes on the operating system of how these work. Look at this, all these wheels, and pulleys and chains. This is the area of the monorail you never see when you're riding it. The excitement that you're feeling when you're on the way to the theme parks, you never would think of the gears and the goodness underneath it that makes the magic possible. Is anyone that's watching this right now feeling the excitement that I'm feeling? Maybe you stumbled on this. Maybe you're not a fan of Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Walt Disney in general. If this blows your mind, share your excitement with me. Leave some comments down below about the history of the monorail system. Look at this. Insane. Do you see what is beside us right now, sir? Ma'am. Are you paying attention? Bring your children over to the screen. I'm talking about 1971 Walt Disney World history right here. This is like the Holy Grail in some fashion. Maybe not the Holy Grail, but to Disney people like me, that's insane. In recent, the last decade, I think in 2002 and then recently, a couple years ago, they put this up on eBay. I was scared to death driving here. I looked up the directions, calculated 
my travel plans, drove here this morning, and I thought there's no way that this is still going to exist to the general public. Anybody can drive down this road, pull in here, and get themselves a selfie, a selfie, if you will, with one of the original monorails. I don't even want to end the vlog. I do not want the vlog to end because I do not feel that I have properly, properly, I cannot even communicate. I have not properly showed off this monorail system. really want to see inside those windows see if the seats look in there so I have an idea that I'm actually going to put into fruition right now if you will I've actually whoop this guy's about to run me over I've actually locked my keys in the car look at this I have locked the excitement of what's happening right now I have locked my keys look I have locked my keys in the car. And thankfully, Disney angels are not are smiling upon me because this door is unlocked. That door is locked. But that door is unlocked. Look at this. These keys almost made a very difficult hump day for me. But luckily, this door was left we got very lucky and I'm really happy that I found my keys in there and the door was unlocked because if I would have locked my keys in the car this would not have been a very joyous happy occasion the rest of the day right now I'm pretty happy and I really am blown away by the fact that there is a monorail original monorail right there so what am I gonna do we're gonna try something I probably should not be doing this but how many times do you get to do this so you're gonna do this with me what am I gonna do I'm drive beside it I wonder if we can get up here. I'm hoping you can actually see in there. I've actually festooned myself up between the monorail and my van. And look at this, here's the latches and the doors the little doohickeys, the locks, if you will, and look inside. Oh my gosh, I hope you can see in there. I am blown away right now. I cannot even communicate correctly. I am really excited. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog, this majestic creation right here from the Walt Disney Company in Florida. Man, I'm a little emotional right now. This is awesome. I'm going to let you guys go. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'll be back in Florida late tonight and I'll be doing a vlog on Thanksgiving tomorrow. Please subscribe. Please share this I do a different vlog every day. It's called The Daily Woo. Go to all kind of wacky places, roadside attractions, abandoned stuff. These are all unedited. 
I have this channel called The Daily Woo and a main channel called The Adam The Woo Channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day. Love you guys. Especially today because this is awesome.